Take two. Welcome back. We're doing ball videos again. First one of the new year, we got the Storm Nova. So I'm at UNLV's practice today. It might be a little noisy. I don't have Jesse, so production quality might be a little lower, but nevertheless, you guys are here to see the balls. Hopefully it's what I want to see. Hopefully it's what you want to see too. Easy bag. So this Nova's got the Ignition Core R2X cover stock. So it's a little weaker than most of our asymmetric bowling balls. Uh, the Ignition Core was used in a lot of overseas balls, a lot of the Gate series. So I was really excited to see this core come here. And I was told this ball is supposed to roll like a lock, which is one of my personal favorites. I did bring a lock with me today to compare. I've also brought an RCX1 because it's the closest thing we have in the current line. I'll throw a couple more with the Nova. We'll move around a little bit and then we'll compare the bowling balls and then we'll see how it stacks up. We're two for two so far. So I've seen a lot of Novas go down the lane already. Our video's coming out a little bit late, so I've had some time to see a lot of them go down the lane, kind of gain a little bit of an assessment before I threw mine. It looks like it's better on the shinier side, and it kind of makes sense to me because the cover's a little weaker. Them a little shiny have just looked a little bit better for me. I'm gonna take a little step to the left, and we're gonna hook it. Not my best shot. We're gonna try again. Now we are rolling on the house shot, so the Nova might be just a touch strong for what we're rolling on. Moving left, not the best. Probably gonna have to keep it in the oil for it to retain enough energy to hit the pins. So let's give the other balls a look. Let's go into the lock. Now, comparison's not gonna be the best because this one's pinned down. My Nova's pinned up. The lock's gonna be a little bit smoother. It's gonna wanna get down the lane, lope a little bit more. So it should be a little bit better from straight, but we'll see. We'll move across the lane. So that's interesting to me. The lock's pinned down, picked up a lot faster when it saw the friction. So that almost tells me that lock is weaker than Nova. It's a possibility. We'll give it a couple more though. Since it is pinned down, it's gonna store more energy before it leaves the end of the pattern. So that plays a part as well. Still transitions pretty smooth off of it for the most part. So I'm thinking uh, we can move a few left. So our ball speed down, wrap our hand around it just a touch. It should be pretty close. I do feel like Nova might be a touch stronger. And moving into the oil, it looks like it transitions just a little slower. I think it's mostly because of the layout, but I can definitely see Nova being kind of close to the lock. Now we have the Rotor Grip counterpart, RCX1. I'm expecting this ball to be a little stronger, a little smoother as well because of how strong it is. Cover-wise, it's stronger. Core-wise, I actually haven't looked at the numbers specifically, but I do think the X1 is stronger. And we're just in a part of the lane right there that none of these balls like. So we're gonna move left. We're gonna try to keep our break point a little further in, give these balls a better chance to strike. I really like the X1 because of how heavy it picks up and really wants to go forward through the pins. I think that's gonna be the main difference between Nova and X1. I have it a little more continuous than the, uh, the Nova, but we'll give the X1 one more shot and then uh, we'll move across the lane with the Nova. And I'm moving about four with my feet here. And it's just blending off it a little bit better with the Nova. It was trying to, I think, get going too fast off the spot. Too forward too fast is what I mean, I guess. With the transition being a little smoother with the X1, it's able to retain a little more energy and go to the pins a little better at the moment. So I'm expecting Nova to be a little bit better from left. Here we go, we'll make it like a five arrow challenge. I don't think the one arrow is gonna be the best with this ball on the uh, house shot. I don't think the seventh will be very good either. One, I'm gonna move another zone. I'm not even gonna try to strike. I'm just gonna move zones every shot and hopefully we strike every time. Two for two. Is Nova versatile? Quite possibly. Is Detang versatile? Yes. All right, here we go. Moving on to zone number three. And then the number four arrow. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, she's looking kind of nice. We definitely have to keep that break point in, but we're three for three. I think now is where it's gonna start to get tricky because the lanes haven't transitioned quite enough for us to play the fifth and the sixth arrow, but we'll see what we can do. Ball return it is. It's still going. This is actually kind of blowing my mind. We're four for four now. All right, the big challenge though, the number six arrow. Here we go. Oh my gosh. So that's why we don't loft the gutter on the house shot. Cause there's so much friction. You can't get it through that spot, especially with a ball this big, this strong. 10 out of 10, don't recommend throwing this ball in league from that far left. But when you get into the harder patterns where they're flatter, there's gonna be more oil in that part of the lane. So it'll wanna shoot through it much easier. So four out of five, that's not bad. I mean, six arrow with a, one of the strongest balls we make, probably not the best idea, but we'll take it. 